I'm doing another vlog. So the last time I did a vlog, I was in Seattle, Washington. Honestly, I don't remember how many people watched that video, but I really enjoyed making it, editing it, and then watching it back. So today I am in Cleveland, Ohio, doing some exploring for a few days, and I wanted to vlog it as well. I don't know if anyone's gonna watch it, but honestly, I really enjoy making travel vlogs like this, just for like myself to be able to look back on and not just like have those memories, but have the video and I really like it. So I'm gonna do it regardless. Right now I am actually in Beechwood, Ohio. So this is gonna be like a vlog of the Cleveland Metro area because a lot of the, a lot of cool stuff that I wanna see and do is not technically in the city limits of Cleveland. So right now I'm at like an outdoor mall cause I want to go to REI. So I'm gonna do some exploring see what else if there's anything here that's like not out of my price range but yeah i'm gonna take you along when I went into REI that I completely forgot to film anything in the store but maybe later I will do a little mini haul of uh, what I got a couple items I got for gifts like upcoming so I just in case they watch this I can't can't show them I ended up going to Saucy Brew Works for lunch they had a really good deal going on on Mondays they have buy one small pizza get a, another small pizza free. So I left with over half of a small pizza. So I'll have lunch or dinner or something for tomorrow the next day. It was super, super good. They had vegan pepperoni. They also had vegan cheese, but I just, just did the vegan pepperoni and it was so, so good. I would go back again. And then they also had a bunch of beers. So I got their raspberry sour beer that was non-alcoholic. Technically it was like 0.5%, but that was also so good. I love sour beers. Love that they had a non-alcoholic option that was actually really good because a lot of times the options are just not good. But if you don't drink, then you're just water. <laughs> but I had a really nice time and I think I'm gonna head to now Crocker Park. I have all of today off from work, so I thought I would like get in some daytime shopping. So we're gonna head there next. and I was just feeling so wiped out so I took a good little nap it was supposed to be like 10 to 15 minutes but I was down for like 40 <laughs> but it is a little bit before 7 and I am about to head to get some dinner at Thai Thai they have Thai curry that just sounds incredible so Thai Thai, I got Masaman curry, 
which was so good. I usually go for a spicy one, but this time I decided to go for the mild one and I really liked it. I would, I don't regret getting it, but I definitely prefer the spicy, but it was really hard to film in there because there were so many people around and it was a small place and I was self-conscious, but it was amazing. Now I'm about to get some dessert because every trip needs dessert. So we are at Mally's Candies Ice and we're gonna get some ice cream. Okay, I am sufficiently stuffed. I got the toffee crunch ice cream with hot fudge on top and it was so good. I definitely ate much more of it than I should have probably. Uh, it was definitely awkward because I was the only one in there. There was like part candy shop, part ice cream parlor and there were two girls walking out as I was coming in. But after they left, it was just me and like four workers that all seemed pretty young, like maybe high school, early college and uh, she said they were having a really slow night, so it was just me sitting at a table alone eating my ice cream sundae while they cleaned and were just like waiting around. <laughs> I like tried to embrace the awkwardness, but it was a good time. I don't regret it. I definitely feel like I'm going to pass out tonight because of that, all that sugar. But now I'm going to head back to the hotel and just shower and try to relax. It's been a long day. Didn't get great sleep last night, so might be an early one. So I'm back in my hotel and I thought I would give you a little tour because I think it's pretty cool. So you come in and you have TV here. It has a fireplace, which is honestly so amazing. Never had a hotel room with a fireplace, so that is amazing. It has like a timer so that like it's not burning for too long. Um, but you have like this little sitting area over here. You have like a table over here and you have like a full fridge, dishwasher, range and oven like a full kitchen it's essentially set up as if this is an apartment have microwave over here and then some like shelving space with utensils so i think this is a place that people probably use for a lot of long-term stays because you could definitely live here very easily and it's a nice large fridge like i was able to put my leftovers in there it's not one of those tiny mini hotel ones come over here just like the bed area so it's kind of set up like an open plan studio where everything is just one big open concept nightstands on both sides nice comfy bed double closets and in here you have the sink area which is like a nice little getting ready area i already set up my makeup bag so if you have like multiple people like someone can be using the sink but someone can also be using the mirror with like good lighting to do their makeup. And then this is just, you know, the bathroom. And I do like it when like the toilet and shower are separate from the sink. All right, it is the next morning. I struggled to fall asleep last night, but that's usual. But once I fell asleep, I slept pretty well. Woke up, excited to get some coffee and maybe a little breakfast. Had to walk to the main office and turns out they don't have either, which was really frustrating because they had it plastered to everywhere that they had coffee from a certain time and breakfast from a certain time. Like it was at the front desk, it was on like digital screens, it was in like the advertisement. And I get there, they don't have any breakfast, anything at all. They have a pot of coffee, but like nothing is stock. I go through the cabinets and like find half and half for the coffee. It's ice cold. I don't know how long it's been sitting there, but my hope is just one day, but I took a sip of it and I was like, <laughs> So I ended up having to door dash some breakfast and coffee. I mean, it wouldn't be such a big deal if they were just upfront about it initially when you're booking, but they weren't. So Sinesta Suites, Sinesta Hotel, you suck. <laughs>
Okay, I don't have any lighting other than my car lighting, so I apologize. But I just got finished at Bottle House Brewery and Meadery, I think it's called. And everything was pretty good. Pretty good. The beer aged in the bourbon barrel. I should have known better. I, I chose it because they were out of the other thing I wanted. And I just like looked and saw the next thing. I took one sip and that was all. I couldn't do the rest. It tasted like straight up bourbon. And I did not care for it. Everything was like pretty good. Nothing I was absolutely crazy about. I love that the violet one was violet. It was so pretty. I would like to come back and try some other types. Maybe take more time to decide if they don't have the one I want. So it is almost seven o'clock. Time is just freaking flying. And now I'm going to go get food. I was looking up Indian food in the area and I think I'm gonna try this place called Vintage India. And then I'm feeling dessert tonight. So we gotta find somewhere to get dessert, so. Okay, I don't know if I gave any kind of update after dinner. I was planning on getting dessert, but I was just way too full after dinner. And I couldn't find the place that I was going to go to on Google Maps anymore. Like I forgot the name of it and for some reason it's not showing up and like I decided to just come back to the hotel to shower. And I am going to be turning in early tonight. In another episode of the hotel drama, I found a random chicken bone, what I imagine is a chicken bone on the floor so that's yummy you know it's just it's the little things that count i'm going to get to sleep okay so i am a really bad vlogger i went to the cleveland bagel company and i was just like so in and out so i didn't even think to film any of it it would have been great to film but the cleveland bagel company i absolutely love they have the best bagels that i have ever had so i got a dozen that i'm going to be taking home I will show you those. I also got coffee since the hotel doesn't have coffee. So let's let's show you the bagels. Look at those. They're everything bagels are amazing. I got two sesame seed, two poppy seed, no, four everything, and then two sea salt. Oh, and two rosemary. It's taking everything in me not to eat these now. But if you like bagels and you're in the Cleveland area, you need to try them. They have two locations and they are just truly amazing. My favorite everything bagels. Coffee's pretty good too. They call it a bagelry and I love that. So I'm back at the hotel. I think for breakfast, I'm gonna eat some leftover pizza because I am bringing a lot of food home and I wanna eat it all before it goes bad. Um, but then I'm just gonna get to work and I have a few meetings today. So I have a couple of those that I'm gonna do before I need to check out at around noon. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to relax as much as I can before I have to head out. <laughs> 